Before I ask Martin to come up with his final reflections, just want to say we hope you've enjoyed your time here. We certainly have. It's been a great event, and it's been great to see faces and meet everyone in real life, and I think this will change the dynamic going forward, certainly with my team and being able to speak to you all. So for now, Martin, please, thank you. Wow. Um, hasn't this been... Can I get this? Uh, you know, I did. I ended the keynote. I said, let's have the best Moodle Moot ever. Mission accomplished. Um, we have had the best Moodle Moot. This was the best Moodle Moot. And I've seen a lot of Moodle Moots. I think at least uh, probably 120, something like that over the years, uh, as have many of you. And it's, I was sort of looking around and thinking, probably at least 70% of you I know from somewhere. And it's so good to see you all again, and also the new, pe the new faces and people I haven't met before to, to meet you and get to know a little bit. I've just been busy trying to uh, not only talk to everybody and get a photo with everybody, but dance with everybody. Um, I was having a, a, a really great time just circulating among you all, and what a terrific group. Uh, look, these are some of the stats, 835 people, 85 billion neurons each. Uh, from 60 countries, uh, we had a, a 150 people from Spain, from here. We had. Uh, you can see the three streams, educators, administrators, developers, 54 sessions, all that. Um, so particularly good to have 120 of our core team here. And what we've been saying to the team is the same thing. Get to listen to everybody, try and engage with everybody, try and understand the, the seriousness of your job and what, what, our, what our job is service to the community and so we have to be tied together. Uh, and, and thank you to the, the sponsors as well. Um, such a, a really interesting group of projects and, and people coming together. So like, I mean, wow. Um, We've, we've created all these moments around the place and there's been lots of things over the, day, uh, over the days. Um, the, all these uh, different things have happened. It, the amount we've packed into three days is still, I'm still trying to process it. I'm sure you are as well. There's like a lot to think about, so we're all going to take that away with us. And of course, last night, I mean, has anybody here been to a better party than last night ever? Hands up. No, right? The, oh, well, Diego, really? Have you? <laughs> you organized this one. Um, best, I mean, that's the best party. I was saying to a few people, you know sometimes when you're watching a movie, maybe it's a James Bond movie, and James Bond is chasing somebody, and they go into some awesome party, and everyone's like having cocked some awesome party, and you think, how do I get into a party like that? And last night I was in this, like completely virtual reality environment of a party just going, hey, we're here, we're in this amazing party, one of the best parties I've ever been to. Um, and I think what made it uh, so amazing, so good was this isn't a random crowd of people in a nightclub or, you know, at some giant function where no one knows each other. Like we, uh, there's so many connections that we know each other and you're all good people, right? You're all great people because... You're into education and you're into openness and you're all doing great work in your own situation and we have so much in common. And, and I know a lot of you in your own world, you, you are the Moodle advocate. Uh, but when you come here, you, you know, we feel amongst uh, our crew, right? We're all in the same boat and that's, that's the point of a Moodle moot. So the, the overall feeling and vibe and, and warmth and humanity in this room was just incredible last night and it just uh, spiralled up and up and we were loud and we got, we just filled that space. It actually was very weird to come in back in here in the morning and see everybody 
and go, did that really happen? Or did we have some sort of hallucination together last night because it was a whole different space? And thank you to everyone who just dressed up and just made it so weird. Um, especially the green guy. Um, I don't... <laughs> I, I, I don't know if the green guy wants to come forward, I know who it was, uh, but uh, talking to him today, he said it was just as weird for him. <laughs> yeah, it's Michael Blake. <laughs> That's uh, above and beyond, Michael. Uh, we're never going to look at you the same way again. <laughs> Um, so many good moments. I know everyone had like a lot of very cool, very good moments. There's a few photos here. Um, some great photos. Thanks everyone for taking and sharing photos. There is a, a couple here and a, um, a ton more on the Moodle Moot, oops, not here. It's, they're on the, on the Moodle Moot course on the Academy. They're linked from there. Sorry? Soon, yeah. And of course, they're all over social media. If you've got some great ones, please upload them and tag them, you know, um, if, if you feel they're uh, safe for work. <laughs> Terrifically great. A actually, afterwards, um, some, some of us walked off to another venue. And personally, I, I mean, it's great if you wanted to keep going. I know everyone wanted to keep the vibe going, and, uh, and some people wanted to do that. But when I got there, I was like, nothing can top what we just walked out of. And I was like, I, I don't even want to hang around here, and I went home. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that was uh, the party to end all parties. So um, a special thank you to Diego for identifying that opportunity. <laughs> There'll be more thank yous later, uh, but for now, I just want to hand over to Marie's going to uh, announce some of the competition winners that have been running throughout the conference. So here you are, Marie. Thank you. Now, I'm incredibly ill-prepared, so I'm going to have to read the slides. Um, I partied too hard yesterday. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. So our first um, competition uh, was for the Moodle Moot Party Best Outfit. And the winner of that competition will win a free ticket to the next global moot. And, you know, to Martin's point earlier, this, is a, this was a hot contest. Um, and I could see the people walking around the room going to try and select the, peop the people who could be nominees and then the team trying to choose who won. And I can tell you they had a really hard job because there were some pretty amazing costumes out there. So... There we go, a bit of an example of that, actually. Oh, there's people in these photos I didn't even get to see on the night. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, the best outfit, the short list. Jili Cohen from Anoto. So nice. Guido. And finally, Marcel. Marcel was hard to miss. All right, drum roll. If you're on, drum roll. And the winner is? Woo! Is he here? Take a bow. Woo! I don't have anything to give. I'm... We don't have anything to give you. <laughs> oh, is that what you look like? <laughs> right. 
Our next competition was really about generating a lot of buzz on socials and we took over the hashtag uh, for Silly Socks. So many people um, contributed to this. Again, uh, the winner will win a free ticket to next year's Global Moot. And just to show you the variety of Silly Socks that were posted, um, and yeah, heaps of buzz on, on socials with this one. Some really cute ones. I, really, I particularly, I mean, look, they have ears. How cute is that? Right. And the winner is, drumroll, Michelle from the Open University team. Are you here, Michelle? Take a bow, hello, thank you for contributing. Those are excellent socks. Now, the MUA competition wins free individual MUA membership for one year. And for this competition, the winner is Roberto Cantoni. I'm wondering where Roberto is, he might not be here. But what a fantastic prize, and thank you to the MUA for contributing. Right, back over to you, Martin. I mean, I should. Keeping it fresh. All right, hey, um, look, there, there is a lot that goes into uh, running and building an event like this. The preparation has been almost a year, actually. Um, and uh, it accelerates over time and becomes a, uh, as you know, anyone who's run an event, a big crush towards the end. Um, but a lot of people to, to thank. Um, I, particularly the Moodle community team uh, who are being responsible for our events. Um, and we actually have uh, some gifts here for, so the, the team we've got, Sandra Matz, who joined us this year as our event coordinator. We've got Jessica Gramp, the, um, the, the head of the community team. Richard Lafroy, Mary Cooch, and the rest of the team. We've got some gifts for you here. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Jess. Cheers, Richard. Thanks, guys. It's been a lot of uh, a, a lot of things, um, uh, ups and downs. But you know, you've handled it well, and I think it's the the, the proof is in the pudding. Um, we also have uh, the Fabra Davies team, led by our one and only uh, Diego Fabra and his angels. So all of you, come up here, <laughs> Diego, Ma. Anna and Michaela. They've been the they, they've been the on on the ground team here in Barcelona with all the local knowledge, uh, making all of the wonderful venues and the events and the, and and all those all that planning here on the ground. Um, thank you so much, team. It's just been. You know, it's the best Moodle Moot ever. What can, what can we add? Um, the Moodle marketing and comms team doing a lot of the graphics and the socials and the messaging and uh, everything around there, bringing that together. There's a lot of little details to make an, an event like this. So thank you to Hasveen and Abby, Chris, Julia, uh, and, the, and the whole team. So thank you very much. <laughs> Come up here, come up here please. If I'm gonna call you out, I want you all to come up here too. Unless you're gonna take the photo later, so stay back there, Chris. Um, uh, the Dev Jam organization, uh, we had, on Monday we had a, the Dev Jam slash hackathon. Uh, that room, this whole room was like just packed with devs talking tech. And it was incredible, the biggest ever uh, we've ever had either. So thanks to Sarah and Adrian for facilitating that as well. So come up here. Where are you?
thank you. Come on up here. Thanks, guys. Hey, shake your hands. I forgot that. Um, uh, the finance team, uh, Augustine and Amanda. Uh, I don't think Augustine's here, uh, but Amanda is. Come up here. Um, think about... Thank you. I know the whole team, the whole team has been involved in this, but just, just think about what registration costs and multiply by these heads and then think about all of the, the expenditure and the food and the complexity and uh, receipts and everything. It's a lot. Um, I want to thank everyone who helped in their day-to-day -day running, all the, the session chairs, the timekeepers, and technical support, keeping things running smoothly. Uh, you know who you are. Come up here as well. Come up here, we can join it. My goal is to get more people on this side. Come on up. <laughs> Come on, we're going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, that's real. That's real hair. Thank you. Thank you. That's commitment. He's gone mood or orange right there for Austin Powers. Um, uh, thanks to the, uh, M I can't see the slides here, so I have to read off there. The MUA committee members for running oh, the speaker's corner and helping chairing some of the sessions as well. Come on up. Thanks, guys. One of the things we're talking about is getting the MUA much more featured on, on, on Moodle.org um, as an important part of the community. Uh, all the speakers and posters, poster presenters, come on up as well. Come on. I'm, I know it's a, a crazy idea, but I want you all up here. There's too many to thank individually, but I know every presentation took hours and hours of work and, pre and your preparation. It's much appreciated. You're sharing your knowledge uh, and sharing your experiences. Get on up here. Oh, we're all going to that side? Okay. Cheers, Rich. Thank you. Everybody get up here. Hey, hey. I'm still seeing people I haven't seen yet. It's too, it's too many people here. Um, I'm, I'm the other Martin. Yeah. And uh, a big thank you to all of our sponsors uh, and uh, collaborators in many ways uh, for helping to fund the conference as well. <laughs> Trezepunt, Catalyst, Armanote, Blindside, Brickfield, EduLabs, Intelliboard, My Learner Journey, Read Speaker, Woo Clap. Anoto, Course Merchant, Umina, IDEF, iThink, Medial, Panopto, Poodle, Proctorio, Titus, Wirus, AWS, uh, and the MUA. Just um, some of the groups of people who've been coming together. We're all coming together here for, for Moodle. Thank you for helping make this a big uh, and successful event. Um, this is what it takes to make a Moodle moot happen. So, like, one last photo maybe and, uh, and let's all like thank everybody for coming together. Thank you. And of course, thank you for coming and being part and joining with all your great questions and discussion and problems. Thank you. You could probably make your way down, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. So uh, this isn't the end of anything. This is just a, a point of history where we've all traveled to the same place to have all this going on. Uh, we continue. We have a lot of togetherness to, to, to happen. So the first thing is we would love your feedback 
on the conference. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure there were rough spots. I'm sure there, you have some good, positive, constructive feedback uh, as well as just positive feedback that we'd, you'd love to share. We would love to hear from you. Um, there is this uh, address at the top uh, to go to the survey. It also should be in your email and uh, we'd love you to, to do that. Uh, it's important. Metrics are important, right? We want to make the next moot even better. Uh, there will be recordings. All, all the sessions, almost all the sessions, but I'm pretty much all, every session we could has been recorded. Um, we didn't stream it live because it's quite a technical challenge to get right, and we just thought better to focus on the people here. But make the recordings, and they will be coming up online over the next uh, months as they get processed. Uh, they're going to be on Moodle Academy, all in one place, easy to find, and they'll be on our YouTube channel as well, youtube.com slash Moodle. Uh, you can also keep in touch through Matrix, like I mentioned before. That QR code on the side will take you to the Matrix room, the Matrix chat. And um, as I mentioned quickly at the, in the keynote, we are going to be building out the Matrix uh, chat rooms to, um, to be a really comprehensive set of uh, places to talk about Moodle and keep in touch. And that will be integrated with Moodle.org coming up in the future because we are one of our upcoming projects uh, happening next, this, from now into next year will be integrating messaging into the core of Moodle. Right? Well, that's worth some applause. Um, we're, all, we're all using messaging all of the time. Our students are using messaging all of the time. And we have a, a good plan, which we'll be, um, uh, we'll be coming around for you all to give feedback on, about really integrating messaging into the core of Moodle so you can engage with Moodle through messaging. And Matrix being a really good open source solution will be our, you know, our recommended way of doing it, but there'll also be integrations with Slack, Teams, whatever else you want to integrate, WhatsApp if you want, integrate with those as well. Um, I don't recommend those other ones, but um, Matrix has been, is actually just getting to be a very nice usable uh, product. So um, yeah, come and, come and get ahead of the curve and start getting used to it and get yourself a Matrix account and see you there. Uh, and of course, you know, you can hang out on our new Moodle.org. So that's going to be launching in the next uh, week or two. Uh, here's a sneak peek of some of that. So it's going to have a whole new look. I must say, you know, I'm... When I look at Moodle.org, it hasn't really changed in like years, right? It's a bit embarrassing. Um, we've just all had other things to do. You know, you know the old uh, story that um, you know the uh, the car mechanic never gets to fix his own car. Um, so it's a bit like that with Moodle.org. Our own Moodle site has been, you know, sort of getting old, and we've been getting time around it. So we have been working on it, and we have this new nice interface that we've been working out. Uh, a lot of the popular pages uh, are, are quite changed and simplified. You'll be able to keep up to date with current research projects to see what's, uh, where we're really looking for input and uh, we really need your help. So you can see there on the example, there's the new messaging platform, for example, redesigning the gradebook, things like that. Um, and you can get involved. So there is a Moodle experience lab that our... Uh, experienced folks are um, running on a permanent basis and uh, we'd love for you to help bring more people into that. We need as much feedback uh, and experiments and research as we can get. Um, it says there, and I hadn't heard this before, that we can, uh, there's a, a $250 PayPal gift card you can, when will that be drawn? Do we know? In two weeks. So that oh, in two weeks, says Marie. Okay. I'm sure it's the first of many. Um, but yeah, sign up and you could win something as well, which is always nice. But uh, I'm sure you, you'll do it anyway. Uh, you'll also be able to see the roadmap more clearly. And so part of what Marie has been doing is working on the visibility 
of that because we've traditionally not been so great at that. We're part of Marie and uh, Marie's appointment and, and other people in the team is to make us a lot more, a lot better at being visible uh, so you can engage with the core team. So our roadmap will be there on a, and updated frequently. You'll also be able to see uh, the big projects that are coming up and you know, are we doing them now? Are they next? Are they later or later still? So there's just a very quick way to see what's coming up in Moodle in a very shorthand way without going through the tracker and lots of docs and so on. Um, so that's um, the, a key part of the, the communication around the, the, all the product roadmaps that we have. And of course, you can contribute to Moodle in all the usual ways um, with translations and um, uh, being involved on Moodle Academy, creating MoodleNet content, and so on. Um, and of course, if you're a coder, um, remember we have a developer pathway. Uh, so Raj Neal, who's in the, uh, the community team, has been uh, working on uh, developer courses with, together with other developers. And that's something we really want to uh, double down on to help people go from being, uh, you know, perhaps they're already a programmer and they know PHP or Python or something, how they become a Moodle programmer and have those, the knowledge. And I guess most people would say that takes about six months. Um, so we've been building out a, a, a whole developer course so that develop, you can, people can become Moodle developers. And that, that should help the whole community. Those courses are open. They're free. Um, little highlight, what's coming up in Moodle LMS 4.1? Uh, from the Moodle H, well, oh, well that, on, this slide's changed from when I looked at it. Um, so improved UX, uh, database activity, uh, gradebook, some uh, UX work there. Um, the, well, we're basically UX is our focus. We're trying to simplify the overall uh, look and feel and usability of Moodle without playing too much with the features at the moment. We're focusing on making the existing features easy to use. Some other headline features, there'll be more reports. Um, we are reintroducing Tiny MCE. Uh, so those of you who've been around for a while may remember we had Tiny MCE. Oh, there's some happy claps over here, mostly from our community team for some reason. Um, so we have Atto as our main editor, and it's been in, in Moodle Core for many years. Uh, we, we wrote that editor because we were trying to make an editor that was uh, fully featured, worked with Moodle plugins, was kind of doing things the Moodle way. And we didn't think the maintenance would be so bad, but it is. And so uh, we finally decided to bring back Tiny MCE so that we benefit from all the work happening in the Tiny MCE open source project because those guys just focus on editors. So it's a very capable editor. Um, we don't have to worry about bug fixing and things in that. It's just done. And it will be reintroduced with Tiny MCE 6, which is well advanced of the old Tiny MCE. And Atto will be phased out in future releases. Not, we haven't got a timetable exactly on that yet. It's when it sort of feels natural. But we'll be supporting Atto for the time being, and they'll both be there. And you can choose which editor you want to use for any HTML that you're writing in Moodle. Uh, sharing to MoodleNet. Hopefully that gets in 4.1. Uh, we want to make it really easy to share activities to MoodleNet, as well as getting things back from MoodleNet. Um, MoodleNet being a very core part of the overall Moodle platform in the future. There's also work coming in 4.1 on the questions and question bank. Um, lots of work there. I assume Tim Hunt is, is involved as well as other developers. I don't know too much about the details, but... Oh, now well, there's the talk you can catch up with on the recordings afterwards. Thanks, Tim. Um, 
but uh, some great work there. Uh, Big Blue Button also working on some uh, much needed things there, being able to invite external participants where necessary. Um, that's actually a use case that I often talk about as being a really important feature of Moodle and online learning, is that you don't just have to think about your classroom as a closed space that you must be enrolled to be in. You also think of it as a portal to the outside world. So imagine you're teaching an English literature class and you're studying poetry or something. You can reach out to the poet and say, hey, I'm teaching a course and I'm using your poetry. Do you want to come and speak to my students? And invite them in. And, you know, you have the whole world available to bring into your classrooms. And I think, you know, a feature like that is going to be super useful um, for that kind of use case. And many, many others, of course. And it looks like the language is going to be better tied in with Moodle. And so on. Uh, next year, the Moodle Moot is going to be here in Barcelona again. That's a very good thing. Barcelona is a very central location. Uh, as we're running it, we also have a big team here and we have a lot of great connections and uh, Diego and uh, everyone here to, to make that a success. We can build on what we've done this year for next year and make it an um, even better moot here. Um, we, beyond that, well, let's be open. Uh, we can maybe all go to Morocco. You want to take it to Morocco, Diego? Something, I don't know. Well, let's, let's be creative, but um, I don't think my cruise ship idea is ever going to fly. Um, too much risk in the med... <laughs> they, they tend to sink sometimes. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. But definitely next year here. So start making some thoughts and plans and plan to be here. Uh, it's a beautiful city. Uh, I hope some of you are not flying out immediately and you have a chance to explore the, the city uh, and everything that it has to offer. It's a beautiful town. One of my... It's, Let's say, I'm not going to lie, it's my favourite city in the world, Barcelona. And I've been to about 200, so quite a lot. I've been around. And that's it. It's happening. Thank you. This is the end of the Moodle Moot. We are at the end. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>